I know there seems to be so many different brokerage commission structures. It can be overwhelming to figure out which is the best fit for you. Today we are going to break down the three main brokerage structures to give you a better idea of what may be the best fit for you. Hi, if we have not met yet, I'm Heather Blatz, Florida real estate broker, coach, and investor. I have had the honor of coaching hundreds of real estate agents as they begin their real estate journey, expand their business, and venture into real estate investing. For the best in real estate tips, marketing, and real estate investing, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you can be notified the next time I post a new video. So let's begin with the most common commission split that a brokerage will offer an agent. So I'm just going to refer to this one as a brokerage split. Now every brokerage is different. Some will offer the same split when you start as when you grow your business and others will actually start with a smaller split to you, larger split to them when you first start until you sell a million or two million or three million dollars of business or they might base it on um, transactions. What I mean by this is if you are a new agent and I offer you a 60-40 split from a brokerage perspective, you would be keeping 60% of your commission and I as a broker would be keeping 40%. And then as you become more educated and you advance in your real estate business, your split may change to a 70-30 split where you keep 70% and the brokerage keeps 30% and so on and so on. There are some companies that go all the way to a 90-10. You keep 90%, the brokerage keeps 10%. So let's plug this into a real life example. You sell a $400,000 house and the commission on your side is 2.5%. That's a $10,000 commission. If your brokerage split is a 70-30, then you would keep $7,000 and the brokerage would keep $3,000. Now let's move on to a more popular commission structure known as a capping system. This is very similar to the brokerage split. The only difference is when the broker makes a certain amount of money, you will revert to a 100% commission. Now different brokerages may offer a different cap. Where you hit 100% is known as the cap for that company. So I'm gonna give you an example at eXp, which is the brokerage I have my license with. If I sell 50 $400,000 houses, which generates a commission of $500,000 for that year, I will pay that brokerage 16,000 and I will keep 484,000. If my company did not cap at 16,000 and they were strictly an 80-20 split, then I would have paid them $100,000 that year. So you can see why a capping system is very popular. Now the third system I'm going to talk about is pretty popular as well. It's known as a flat fee system or also advertised as a 100% commission. What these brokerages do is they charge a fee, usually around $500 per transaction. There typically is no cap because all you're paying is the fee, whether you sell $3 million of real estate or you sell $10 million of real estate or more. This typically works out well for people that don't sell a lot of real estate. If you're selling high numbers, then $500 a transaction ends up being $20,000, $40,000 worth of commission to that brokerage. So in comparison of these three, it would make sense for most people to join a company where they capped. However, not everyone has the same real estate business. So you have to figure out which system will work best for you. Now, I know we only talked about commissions. There are several other important factors when it comes to choosing your brokerage. Sometimes the higher commission structures where the brokerage makes more, they may offer more handholding, they may have more mentorship, and sometimes not. A lot of the new brokerages that offer capping systems, they include mentorship, classes, and training as well. Some of the flat fee systems when I became a broker actually didn't offer very many classes or support at all. And I'm not sure about recently because I became a real estate agent in Florida eight years ago. So do your research, make sure you come in hand with questions, and if you have any questions evaluating a brokerage, I would be happy to help. All of my contact information is in the description below. If you got something out of this video, please hit the like button, it really does help our channel. Be sure to subscribe and share this video. And for the best in real estate tips, marketing, and real estate investing, please check out more of our videos. See you next time. Yay, I got two together. <laughs> Cool.